Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. I'm out in the garden and I am going to harvest my sweet potatoes today. And um, it's a great day to do it. They have, um, it has not rained here and um, gone on a couple weeks now. I think it's time to, um, to harvest them. So I'm gonna do that now. But if you, this is your first time to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. So I'm gonna turn you around so that you can see uh, the sweet potatoes and uh, then I'll cut them back and then I'll turn these containers over and see what we have. So I'll be right back. Okay, you all, so this is, these are the sweet potatoes and they are, um, they don't like dying back, so I'm gonna cut these vines off. So right here, I have a net trellis, as you can see, like right there. And they're growing all along that. And I'm gonna cut these back and they've even went through the fence. And um, so I'm gonna cut these back. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, you all. So these are the three containers that was under all that growth. <laughs> and um, these are where my uh, sweet potatoes are planted. And I remember planting these. And uh, a lot of you probably wasn't with me at that time. But June 3rd. That's what I remember saying in the video. And um, so it's been four months. Um, today is uh, October 17th, I think. And uh, yeah, October 17th. So I cut all the, the uh, leaves away from the sweet potatoes and, and pulling some of them out. Uh, some of them popped up, as you can see. And I have a tarp over here and I'm going to turn these containers over um, because in the past uh, my experience is they grow top, middle, and bottom. So uh, it's just going to be easier if I turn this container over, all three of them, and uh, dig out of here uh, the sweet potatoes so that's what I'm going to do right now um, and cutting away back here on from this container there was a wasp nest and um, I got it down I don't know if you can see it right there they had built it um, under this container right back here they had built it right under there. And when I started moving those limbs and leaves and everything around, then they went to flying everywhere. And so I got my hornet spray stuff and uh, I let them have it. So I don't know where they are. Some of them, they probably ain't got wings no more. So I don't know. But I just gonna let them think about that. I'm gonna start with these other two containers over here. So I'll be right back.
show you all this is uh <laughs> just one container this is what i've pulled out of this first container here and they're all different sizes and shapes as you can see that's a nice size one this is a nice size one and some people don't like them to get that big but i don't have no control <laughs> they get as big as they can before you can harvest them now i must say that um last year I harvested some that was like big as volleyballs and they were huge but um i think i had waited too long to um harvest them and uh so but i think i'm in good time with these and these probably could have come out earlier but um, I don't know the variety, but I think they may be Beauregard. Uh, my sister made the slips from uh, our harvest from last year. And um, those, the ones that I harvested last year, were grown from slips that of our 2020, 2020 harvest. I think that's how it was. No, it was from our 2021. So last year's harvest was from uh, slips that were grown from our 2021 harvest. And so um, we started, I think we did some um, Beauregard uh, slips that we bought from the local co-op that year and we had some started some from some grocery store ones that we bought but um, by now i don't know what these are i don't know if they're just i don't know they may be beauregard some of these they look like beauregard like that one kind of looks like beauregard and just looking at the color of them i think they're a little more orange or like or pinkish looking than the regular variety but that's what we got they're gonna eat just as well as Beauregard or grocery store whichever one so I'm gonna move over to this other container and see what's in that one So this is uh, this second container this is what I got out of it and uh, we're not any big huge ones like out of the other one but they are some nice size ones that one and there are a lot of weird shaped ones like this one, I guess is one long one, or it's two. It's just, they just curled all up in between each other. And um, that's what I got. And you all, I'm telling you, look at this one. It's just a bunch of little bitty ones that grew all together. <laughs> but, uh, that's the reason why I grow in these containers is so I can turn them over because I'm telling you they grow all through your soil and don't think that just what you get on top is all you got because if you're wherever you are uh, growing them if it's deep you need to go to the bottom because they will grow all to the bottom. I mean, they've been in there for three or four months. So 
it's there down there at the bottom too. So if you already harvest yours, go check the bottom of your container or your bed or wherever you had them growing. Because I can guarantee you, if you did not go all the way to the bottom, it is some more out there. So go check them. Y'all go right now and check them. Now this one had a lot more slips in it. I don't know though. So I had I had a lot more slips. I gave away some slips, but I had a lot more slips left. Yo, my sister can grow some <laughs> sweet potato slips. And I mean they were so nice and healthy. And um but I had put all of what I don't even remember how many I planted or had planned to plant in these containers. But whatever it was, I ended up with a whole lot more. And um, so I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I ain't want them to go to waste. But um, I think we gave some to my cousin. scraping them and you got to be careful with them These I'm getting are pretty close to the bottom. So that's why I said you gotta check, you gotta check your whole container or your whole bed. Because they, if you have some good loose soil like this is right here, they just will spread out and grow. from the top to the bottom. Look at that. I'm telling you, they be down in the bottom. And if you did not check all the way to the bottom of your containers or your beds, you better go back out there. You better go right back out there and check the bottom. That's why I grow them in containers so I can turn them over. Okay, you all, so this is what I got out of that third container that's right over here, right here. And um, same thing. I mean, these. this one had two huge ones in it. This one and this one. And then that's a nice size one. And this one's a nice size one. So, and then it was a bunch of little ones. But I am happy and thanking God for what we got. You know, to be nothing. That's uh, two containers and then I have one container over here. So I'm gonna put them all together and uh, let you see the full harvest. Okay, you all. So this is my sweet potato harvest. And uh, 
I have them all in a one of those cement mixing containers that I sometimes grow into but this one we didn't have anything in it so I put the sweet potatoes in it but uh, I have some great big huge ones down under there I hate to dig them out because got a bunch of little ones on top but um, I have some nice size ones like that I'm pleased I'm pleased and I'm blessed these are good and um, I'm real happy with this harvest this year now you all keep in mind that your 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 own uh, harvests of whatever crop it is is not gonna look like that you buy at the grocery store and um, I knew a lady yes last year that grew sweet potatoes and um, she wouldn't even eat them because she said they look like body parts and she just could not bring herself to eat them I said well once you clean them up and cook them they won't look like how they grew <laughs> so she would not eat them I think she gave them to her grandma when she ate them but uh, <laughs> she wouldn't eat them but um, like your carrots, your sweet potatoes, and anything else, root. They probably, they won't look like what you get from the grocery store. Some will, most of them won't, so. But they'll eat just as well, and they probably taste better if they come out your garden. So, over there are still all of the vines. I'm gonna take those down, and they will go into our compost bin. Yes, they will, because they are good. They are fine for composting, breaking down and composting. So that's where those will be going. So you all, I'm done with uh, the harvest of my sweet potatoes and I'm going to um, take them over and uh, have uh, over. And I don't know where we're gonna store them. We usually take them in the house, but I don't know what we're gonna do this year. We may do something different to let them cure. So, but I really do appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Um, I, as you, as I said earlier, while I was cleaning out that or emptying that container, check your containers wherever you had them growing um, sweet potatoes whether it's in container totes like I have or in a bed or a pot or whatever, check it all the way down to the bottom because they will, um, they will grow down to the bottom. And if you didn't check all the way to the bottom, you may still have some potatoes, sweet potatoes down at the bottom. So go out there and check your containers or your bed right now and uh, get your stuff out of there. So, you all, thank you for hanging out with me today and harvesting my sweet potatoes. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload content. So you all stay safe, you stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.